Hi guys, it's me, Literal Colby. This is my second time filming this video because my microphone wasn't working for some weird reason. But we're back, and this is kind of just like a life update and like what you guys should expect for the future of my career, music career wise, and stuff like that, and just that in general. So, what am I doing now that I've been kind of away from social media? Not like away, but not posting everything really well i've been living with my boyfriend soon to be husband since august and i've been just kind of improving on myself improving on <clears throat> the way that i act towards people like not getting angry as much and stuff he's taught me a lot kind of helped me realize and just like help through like go through those stages of being not knowing how to uh, respond to things and just getting mad for no reason stuff like that i've been working on i've been working on um, myself, I've been going to the gym, um, that's a thing, I guess, and yeah, so th that's basically just, like, my life, basically, <sighs> now my music career, so I got this new microphone, thank you so much, Brittany Plastique, Brittany Plastica, I don't even know what her name is anymore, um, best friend, but she gave me this microphone, it came in today, and, um, I can't thank her enough, because I've always wanted one, and I finally have one, and, like, she just gifted it to me. It was amazing. Love her so much. So amazing. She also gave me her CD, Baby Doll, with me featured on it. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm just obsessed. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I can't thank her enough. And she gave me a bunch of lollipops, which is my favorite part. So, but uh, uh, yeah. So for my music career, I am making music again. Um, the reason I stopped making music was because it was very inconvenient for me because I was paying like $20 a year to keep it on streaming and getting no money in return. So it was so stupid for me. I was, you know, no one wanted to work with me anymore just because everyone started like getting bigger and not wanting to work for free. And it was very difficult. Um, so I just stopped making music altogether. I did some covers for fun. I did some like little things, but I never really recorded a like an actual original song since um immortal came out which immortal i want to talk about for a little bit because i feel like i didn't talk about that era or that album a lot i want to say just some things about it um first of all it's my favorite project i've done i'm a little bit sad that no one really liked it go give it a listen it's on soundcloud um it was really um really fun for me to make that album it was my most conceptual album i feel um it was very inspired by the vampire chronicles by anne rice um book series interview with the vampire is the first book in the series you probably heard about the movie and stuff i love that movie it was really inspirational um because i just love the aesthetic of it because it's like a very it's an adult vampire series and not like twilight which is young adult which i love twilight too but not in the same sense as the vampire chronicles um and so I was very much inspired and kind of channeling Lestat a lot on the album in the era, especially on the cover. I wasn't, like, trying to be Lestat or anything, but I was, like, very just inspired by him, you know? And that shirt that I had, I've been had, so I was like, this shirt is perfect, it's so vampire-y and old-timey, and, like, my hair was, like, blonde, and I was so happy with it, and I was just, like, obsessed with being blonde, and so it just worked perfectly, and I feel like I looked really good in that era, I don't know, I just, I love the visuals for it so much, and I'm very proud of it, and I'm very proud of the title track it's my favorite song i've ever done and i still love it like i think it's a bop like honestly like i love that song a lot like if someone else to were to record it i would be playing it all the time i love that song <clears throat> so yeah that's the middle of my last album my boyfriend does backing vocals on when the lights go down and he helped me do a lot of that song um and i love that album and i'm just kind of sad and moving on I wrote in the middle of an online class, um, and it was about my ex, abusive ex, to put it, you know, honestly, and I was still sad, and I shouldn't have been, but I was like, I need to move on, and that honestly, I feel like was the time, that song, writing that song really actually was the time that I did move on, and I feel like it was just, like, perfect, um, and I wrote it to a YouTube beat. So, thank you so much to 805 and Nabel. I'm not even 100% sure how to say that, but I love you, girl. Um, she reproduced the beat, and I, like, thank you so much. Like, honestly, like, I'm so grateful for everyone who worked on any of my music in any sort of way, shape, or form, because I would not have been able to do it without everyone who was involved. Honestly, I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful to my friends who are still willing to produce for me for free, even though I don't have any money, and that's what I want to get to next. Please be patient with me. 
if my music isn't on Spotify and Apple Music by like tomorrow, don't be upset because I don't have a job and I'm trying. I'm not like lazy and like just not getting a job. I'm really trying. It's just incredibly difficult because I've been applying everywhere since August and I mean everywhere like hours away too like I've been applying everywhere I'm so freaking desperate to just get a freaking job and I can't like no one is hiring my boyfriend or I and it's ridiculous um so it's impossible to get money right now but once I do get a job once I do get money I will be paying producers in the future you know what I mean so I'm gonna hope that um you know I can get that money to do that um and if not I'm just so grateful that they're willing to work with me right now honestly like super 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 grateful because I know production is not easy and it's like so high demand and everyone wants you know production um from these people so yeah there's that so I'm just working on new stuff and I'm um I recorded a song today and it's actually a song that everyone's kind of been begging me to release I used to tease it back in the day when I was gonna make um Immortal was supposed to be a different concept and it was more 2000s themed and more like a nod of my first album and it didn't happen it turned into Immortal um and so we have Immortal now but I love 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 this song honestly and I'm so excited it's gonna get a whole rework and it's gonna be really good I promise I'm so excited about it um because like can you hear the quality like we're excited um and so yeah and I've been doing some covers just like re-recordings today just to test out the mic and it's amazing and I'm so so happy about it honestly couldn't be more grateful I have the best friends ever but um yeah I'm just really excited just expect new things and my new album let's just talk about a little bit it is a kind of a direct sequel to my debut it's not really like a cash grab or like you know I need to be famous and relevant again my first album is my most popular let's do a sequel no I know it's what you guys like and so that's why I'm doing it um and because I know that that's kind of what I do best is just trashy 2000s why to like myspace music um and, and that's what I feel like I should do I will have newer elements on it for sure of course like I'm not just gonna do the same stuff over and over again it's gonna be really good um I feel like it's gonna be really reminiscent of now I guess and kind of just exciting and I really am excited um and I don't really know what else to say about it that's kind of all I want to say about it I want to make it a surprise but please be patient yeah like please just be patient with it it's not gonna take like five months to come out but it's gonna take a minute um maybe five months I don't know but because I just started like you know um but I'm really excited basically is what I'm trying to say um and I just really hope that you guys love it I don't know I I don't know um one thing I did want to say is I really want to get into producing myself but I'm just not I don't know I'm just not motivated to learn like fl studio and stuff i've tried before and it's just i don't know what's so hard about it for me because everyone else picks up on it really easily but for me i just can't do it like there's so many buttons and so many options and so many things like i can't do it but maybe one day i will learn and be able to produce everything that like i really want from my heart because i made it i would love to do that so so much um so yeah and um and mixing of course and just stuff like that because i hate counting on other people you know what i mean it's just annoying and i just i just don't want to do that but yeah i really hope that you guys love what's to come and i hope you guys are patient with me streaming services is like a set it's just kind of in what's the word that i said earlier it's just kind of um i don't know unnecessary for me it's not the word i'm looking for inconvenient inconvenient for me because it's like 20 dollars a year and i don't get any of it back and it's just like annoying i would love to be on streaming again i might but it's just annoying honestly and then it takes forever to upload and it's just like shoot me now you know what i mean at least distro kid is i don't know anything else but yeah so that's that i guess and um i hope you guys love what's to come and yeah i'm just really excited and i hope that i get to make good music in the future with like really high quality sounds and 
more of what's from my heart i'm really into more heavier music right now just right now i know like i go through phases so i'm not gonna say like i really want to do that but right now i really want to do that um actually for a while i've wanted to do that now that i think about it back when i was like 13 and making really really bad music i was obsessed with poppy and i still am but um I really wanted to make metal music, and now I'm obsessed with Bring Me the Horizon, and I really want to make music like that. Not even, like, the really heavy stuff. I want to make songs like, like Kool-Aid. I want to make a song like Kool-Aid really bad. I want to make a song like Throne really bad. Like, those type of songs where it's, like, pop, but, like, metal pop. Like, I don't know. I love that. And that's, like, my dream music, honestly. Honestly. Because I just love, like, jumping around, like, being able to perform that type of stuff. My cat's dropping things. Being able to perform that kind of stuff would be just so fun for me, and I just would love to. And yeah, performing is my biggest dream in the world. Performing in front of a thousand people. I would love, 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 love to do that. That's my biggest, biggest dream. I have no fear of it. Um, I would love to do that. So that's basically it. I don't really have like anything else to like say, I guess. I'm just really excited for what's to come. And um, I think that the new stuff is going to really be like as good as the first stuff and yeah but like i said if i ever find like any sort of bigger producers or like anyone who does know how to do like electric guitars or like real instruments i would love to do all that but i just don't know how to scream that's the thing i don't know how to scream so if i learn how to scream and i find people who do guitars and stuff you might see a genre switch but that might not be until like way in the future um so yeah that's basically it and i hope that you guys loved this video or whatever i mean it's not like entertaining but i hope that you guys like appreciate it and um everything like that so yeah bye guys if you have any questions put them in the comments i'll answer every single one um i hope that you guys are excited for my comeback and this is going to be my strongest comeback yet and i can promise you that and the visuals you'll see Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. Sorry, I don't know why that was. So, bye guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, leave your comments. Love you. Bye. Thank you for sticking with me if you've been with me from the beginning. And it's just like amazing. Um, you're the real ones. Okay, bye guys.